My name is Arthur Daniel. I was born in 1921. That makes me 93 years old. I've been working on the water since I was a teenager with my father. And I started out and bought the, this boat, City Crisfield. It's 1951, I believe it was. And I've been working here ever since. The first of November, we are all ready to go dredging. From November to the last of March, we can we'll all be dredging then. Only thing we could do in the winter months was the sailboat. And we couldn't use the power either then when I first started. We had, it was all sail. Now we can use the power two days a week. We'd, we'd drop our dredges overboard and catch the archers and call, it, call, call them up, get the bad ones out of them and throw the little ones back overboard. And everything seemed to be working fine. The archer bottoms are, are cleaner now as it was when I started. It's as good now as it was 30, 40 years ago because we throw all the little ones back overboard. The water's got a sad drawing power, but it's something to lure you to it. You fall in love with it and it becomes a part of your life. Well, let's say we, we, we are married to the water. That takes care of the whole situation because the water's dependent on us and we're dependent on the water. I believe my whole, my whole family depending on the water for a livelihood. It's a way of life for them. And every boy on this island of it has been aboard this boat with me on this boat and worked. When they first won the job, you know. Some of them now didn't know as much as I do about the boat. I've never uh, had no catastrophe. No, nobody ever drowned off my boat or, or seriously injured. I've been some times I've had to do a lot of praying. When that, them seas get so high and you don't know if she's going to make it or not, water all up on your deck. But I've, I've come through all the storms. Thank the Lord for that. A lot of times I didn't know what to do, so I just did what come natural, I guess. Hold on to that helm and try to get enough sail on it to see the clear thing. I wrote a little poem one time. I, I, I named it The Sea because of my life has been lived on the water. And it goes like this. The sea is so great. And the sea is so strong, and men seek its treasures all the day long. There are men with the net, men with the dredge, with traps and tongs, and mechanical doodads, but the sea still provides with its bounties unknown, and it seems its mission is always give to the throng. Ah, but the sea has a side that is boisterous with rage and is provided for many a water grave. David Jones Locker is what they say is taking another to rest today, but I am a sailor. And one thing I know, the sea is so great and I am so small. I learned to respect her long years ago then. A very young captain, I experienced my first blow. The fierce winds blew from a black northern sky. And my little boat was so helpless and shy, it tossed and it pitched and it wouldn't take sail soon. All of my crew was ready to wail, but I was the captain, and I couldn't be afraid. So I just eased her the helm, and I went with those waves. It was like riding a bobsled down a steep grade, and each wave seemed my boat to crave. But I knew the harbor was over the ice, and behind those black clouds was a clear blue sky, so I held the helm tight. And I breathed a small prayer, for I knew one was listening who controlled land, sea, and air. And I made safe the harbor. But I learned that day, the sea demands respect, and with it, we can't play. So my friend, listen, and learn this from me. Man without God cannot conquer, like sea.